Okay, so the first design I'm working on today is a green textural uh, thickened backdrop. So I've thickened some paint with filler powder for this. Um, it does the job, but it's quite soft. If you want um, something that's going to be a bit more robust, you need to use something harder. Um, and my inspiration is this little rock that my mama gave me quite a while ago. I've made a surface from this before, um, but then I sold it and always thought how nice it was. So I'm going to try and do another one. It's good to have an inspiration piece. This one is just going to be a sort of canvas artistic texture. And so is this one. But this is actually coming from nature. Um, so we'll see where it goes. I'm just using a scraper. Uh, but I'm going to use it to push the paint around. So I've got some black, some grey, some duck egg, some deep teal and some burnt sienna uh, liquid golden artist colours liquid paint. That's, that's good. Um, and I'm not going to mix anything in a palette because this effect is all going to be kind of mixed over the board. Um, and I'll do it layer at a time and then let it dry. So I'm going to start with the basier tones. So some, is this sienna or umber? Burnt sienna. Uh, yeah, so eventually these, these will be underneath and it will just be some uh, dark background in places, backdrops, background. Um, so this will go on first and then I'll build up the layers and then I'll also be a bit of white um, going on top and being rubbed back as well. So I'm going to put a bit of black on, a bit of this on. Because I've already got a textured surface on here, it's going to go on quite randomly and fill in gaps. on the board as well it's giving us some quite organic effects already. I'll bring you over here to have a closer look in here. Dragging it round and it's naturally filling in the gaps. See, this is a nice effect here where you've got the green coming through. So that'll be a high peak of green. And then where I've dragged the paint across it, it's leaving bits behind and giving me quite an organic motley effect. So I'll work some areas harder than others and get a few different effects going on. This is going to have lots and lots more coats. It won't hopefully feel like a painted backdrop by the time we're done.
Okay, I've got this one back on the table now. It's not fully dry, um, but that's okay for the kind of effects I'm going for on this one anyway. So I'm gonna put a bit more of that shitty brown from the last design on and just, so we're not dragging this time, I'm pushing it into the texture and just covering the board. Little. Oh my god, I'm going to say it again, organic. But it is, look. That could be a rock. My rock. So the point of starting off with the um, filler powder to thicken the paint was to give us all these lovely little raised bits that um, grab the paint when you glide over it. It gives you an effect that you can't really get any other way. some paint grabs on top of a little bubbly knobbly bit other gets mixed in and drags like there's some you can see some texture there so if I go over it we've just got a little highlight it's magic So back on the first design, I'm just going over and putting more of a really deep green over the top, a lot of the surface, so then we just get the odd bit of highlight and earthy tone coming through. For this technique, you need quite a lot of paint on your spatula because you kind of go in and filling in the holes. But don't worry because we can scrape it back and still get some nice detail and texture. That bad boy there is going to get knocked back a bit. So I've done most of it. Um, it's got this bottom left corner to even out a bit. I'm just doing the same technique on this one. So I've whitewashed it a little bit and then I'm sending it back and where we've got the, um, little nodules, obviously they're getting sanded right back and we're getting little flecky highlights. <laughs> 